Welcome back. So today's tutorial will be very uh, basically, very basically explaining the coffee node in Espresso, which is actually a very powerful node that most people don't want to use because it seems really complicated, but it has some huge advantages. So what we're going to create so that you can understand this on its simplest terms is this uh, animation here. As you can see, this uh, collision between the sphere and the cube is getting detected. And this Motex object, object is printing true or, or false, depending on the whether the collisions occurred or not. And I'm also changing the color of the cube on collision. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And hopefully that should give you a very, that should basically give you a starting point so I'm just gonna start from scratch, create a new scene and I'm gonna create a cube to collide with and a sphere. So I've got my two objects here. I'm just gonna scale down the sphere slightly and the cube, I'm just gonna kind of extend it. I'm just gonna highlight both objects and hit C and that makes them editable. Uh, because I don't think collisions don't work with uh, parametric objects. Parametric object is basically that initial object that you can kind of edit, but it's, it's you need to collapse it down into a polygon to use um, collisions. So I'm just going to create a null for the espresso layer. And in the Espresso panel, I'm going to drag and drop the sphere in the cube. I'm going to right click, new node, Espresso, general, choose collision. Leave that there. Now I'm going to create, create a Motext object. I'm just going to scale it down, rotate it, holding down shift. I'll just put that over here. Then, in the material uh, manager, I'm going to create two materials. Say matte, matte cube, and the uh, matte sphere. I'm going to add the cube mat to the cube and the sphere mat to the sphere. I can close that. Go back to the Espresso panel, drag and drop the mo text, and also you can't drag and drop the material from here because it's going to come in as a tag. So you actually have to drag and drop the material from the material manager. So I'm going to drag and drop the matte cube material in there. And just open those up. On the mo text, I'm going to select object properties text. And on the matte cube, I'm going to select color, color. Actually, sorry, I'm going to select color R. So on the sphere, I'm going to select object. On the cube, I'm going to select object. I'm going to hook up object to object one, that to object two. And what the collision does is it outputs a Boolean one or zero. So if a collision happens, it gives us a one value, and if it doesn't happen, it's a zero. So I'm going to use that to somehow change the mo text value and to change the red value on the matte cube color. So I'm just going to right click new node, Espresso script, coffee, and you can basically get rid of these like default inputs and outputs because they're pretty much useless unless they happen to be the right uh, inputs and outputs you're looking for. The collision outputs a boolean, a one or a zero, so the input into the coffee node needs to be a boolean also. So if you click the blue section here, make sure you, you select bool and that creates a boolean input one. This is basically one of the most important bits. And then outputs text we want a string value so output one's a string and that outputs to a 
a string value on text, and then the color values are real so we'll create another output which outputs a real for the color like that so all that's left is click on the coffee node and as you can see it's kind of given us a basic script here like a default kind of script and uh, you've got output one, input one, input two and these are kind of irrelevant now because we've changed it but we do want to keep this main bit and this is where we put the main section of our code so I'm just gonna write the best place to start is probably some simple if statements so I'm gonna write if you've used high-level languages before this will be quite familiar if brackets input 1 which is a boolean equals you have to put in two equals 0 close brackets and then open param parentheses output 1 equals false and make sure you got the kind of til tilde is it, is it you call it and then close the parentheses like that it's that simple and then we'll just copy and paste that and then we'll just replace the zero and make this one here and we'll change the text and the output one to true so if a collision doesn't occur text says false if a collision does occur this is a boolean value the text will equal true and then hit rewind to kind of check for errors on the script and it says no errors so that's good to go and as you can see the motex is now changed to a false and if I move my sphere along every time it collides with the cube the value of the text changes that's great then all we have left to do is just go back into the coffee and we'll create something for this output to value so just go into here and just write a new line Oops. output 2 equals if it's 0 we'll make, z uh, make it 0 we don't need any kind of um, tilde signs around 0 and the uh, second section we say output 2 equals say uh, 255 if the collision does occur so it's basically just going to mess around with the red value depending on whether there is a collision or not and you can kind of there's a whole lot of stuff you can add in here like um, you could use a specular the mixed strength specular brightness you could mess with that you could mess with the blue value of the color diffusion like there's so many values so um, try out your own kind of experiments as well and I'm just gonna rewind this got no errors now you can see the materials change to like a blue color and if I move the sphere it changes to kind of sort of pink color every time there's a collision so uh, but yeah that's basically the coffee node in its most uh, basic form and um, I hope you learned something thanks for watching